Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we tackled about least common multiple or lowest common multiple or what we call LCM. So, we have three methods or three strateg strategies rather kung paano natin kukunin yung least common multiple. So, first one is listing method. Pangalawa, prime factorization. And pangatlo, continuous division. So, sa listing method muna tayo. In this method, we're going to list the multiples of each number. And pick the smallest common multiple. So, sa method na to, easiest way to siya kapag yung mga number ay maliliit lang. Applicable siya. So, let's give an example para may apply natin yung concept. What is the least common multiple of 8 and 9? We're going to list the multiples of 8 and 9. So, sa 8 mo na tayo, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, and so on. Marami pa yan. So, hanggang 80 mo na tayo. Sa 9, we also have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, and so on. Now, we are going to pick the smallest or lowest common multiple of the two numbers. So, we have, as we have seen, may shade yung 72. Therefore, the lowest common multiple or least common multiple of 8 and 9 is 72. Let's give another example. What is the least common multiple of 9 and 12? So, same process. We are going to list the multiples of 9 and 12. So, 9, we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, and so on. What about 12? 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and so on. And now, I already shade the common multiples, or lowest common multiples rather. We have 36. Therefore, the least common multiple of 9 and 12 is 36. What about three numbers? Usually, nagbibigay sila ng three numbers. Okay, let's apply. What is the least common multiple of 18, 24, and 12? Same process, we are going to list the multiples. Sa 18, we have 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108, 126, 144, 162, and so on. Sa 24, we also have 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, and so on. 12, we also have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72. Okay, I already shared the, the lowest common multiple or least common multiple. So, the least common multiple of 18, 12, and 24 is 
seventy two. Okay, let's proceed for the next method, prime factorization method. In this method, we are going to get the prime factorization of each number using factor 3. Take note for the word prime. It must be prime. And now we are going to get the product of all the factors except the common one, just multiply it once. So kapag we have a common factor or common prime number, once lang natin siya gagamitin. Okay, let's apply the concept. Example, what is the least common multiple of 8 and 9? The factors of 8, we have 2 times 4. Since 2 is already prime, so we are going to get the factors of 4. 4 come from 2 times 2. As we have seen, it's already prime. So, okay na yung number 8. What about 9? The factors of 9, we have 3 times 3. As we have seen, 3 is already prime numbers. Now, we are going to list their prime factors. Sa 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And sa 9, we also have 3 times 3. Therefore, the least common multiple of 8 and 9. So, isa -isa natin. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. 24 times 3 equals 72. Therefore, the least common multiple of 8 and 9 is 72. Let's give another example. What is the least common multiple of 9 and 12? 9 came from 3 times 3. Since 3 is already a prime factor, okay na siya. Then sa 12, we, the, common, uh, the factors of 12 rather, we have 2 times 6. So marami pang factors yung 12, we'll, we can use also 3 times 4. In my illustration, I use 2 times 6. Okay lang din kapag 3 times 4 yung gagamitin nyo. And sa 6, the factors of 6, we have 2 times 3. And now, we're going to list their prime factors. Sa 9, we have 3 times 3. Then sa 12, we have 3 times 2 times 2. Take note na ang ginawa ko, we're going to align their common factors. Kasi once lang natin siya gagamitin. Ayan, take note nyo yung 3 sa 9 at saka 3 sa 12 in a line ko. So now we're going to get the product. Yan, nilagyan ko na siya ng shade para mapansin nyo. The least common multiple of 9 and 12 is 36. Let's give another example. What is the least common multiple of 18, 12, and 24? Sa 18, we also have 3 times 6. We can use also 2 times 9. In my illustration, I use 3 times 6. And the factors of 6, we have 3 times 2. Since 3 and 2 is already prime, okay na yung 18. Let's proceed sa 12. 12, the factors of 12, 2 times 6. Then, the factors of 6, 
we have 3 times 2. Since okay na yung prime na sila, no? yung 3, 2, yung 3, at saka 2 prime factors na sila. So, let's proceed sa 24. 24, we, the factors of 24, we have 2 times 12. Then sa 12, we have 6 times 2. The factors of 6, we have 3 times 2. Ayan. Tandaan nyo lang na kapag nagiging prime na siya, okay na siya. Pero kapag composite pa, gagawin, gagawin mo natin siyang prime. Hanggat nagiging prime silang lahat. Tingnan mo. Yung 3, ito yung 3, yung 2, yung 2. Yan. Tingnan nyo. Prime na silang lahat kaya okay na. Now, we are going to list their prime factors. Yan. So, take note yung sinabi ko kanina na i-align natin yung common sa kanilang tatlo or sa kanilang dalawa as, as long as may common. Tapos, leave space kapag malang, ano, walang common, leave space na lang. Ayan. Sa 18, nilagay ko, inuna ko yung 3. 3 times 3 times 2. Sa 12, 3 times, tingnan yun, like what I said kanina, lagyan natin ng space. 3 times 2 times 2. And then, sa 24, we have 3 times 2. Yung 2, inalign ko ulit dito, times 2 times 2. Ayan. Para hindi, hindi nyo makalimutan or hindi kayo magkamali at hindi nyo magamit ulit yung numbers. So, tandaan nyo, kapag common, once lang natin siya gagamitin. Ayan, nilagyan ko na siya ng shade. Ayan, tatlo yung common natin. Okay, the least common multiple of 18, 12, and 24 is 72. Ayan, thank you, and that's all for today. Yung continuous division, next video na lang natin siya gagawin kasi sobrang haba na. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Rosalind Cadenas again. Thank you.